India is land of dal and dal makhani is hot favorite of all. So let's start making the dal makhani in a healthier way. So first of all, here I have taken with skin urad dal or black gram. With that, here I have rajma or red kidney beans. I have soaked them for eight to ten hours. They are perfectly soaked, and now I'll pressure cook them. So now here, in goes the urad. Now here's the important tip. I have washed this dal three to four times before soaking it, and after that. I have drained it out and in goes the dal and into this I will be adding rajma and now into this goes some water, some salt, grated ginger, just give this a mix and now what you need to do is cook this for 8 to 10 whistles or dil the dal is nice and soft. And after eight whistles, this is done. I've cooled this a bit. I'll remove the whistle. And now what you need to do is just keep on mixing it. And side by side, you need to make the tarka. So for that, I'll be taking ghee, a good quantity of ghee. So the first thing that goes in is some cumin seeds. Let the cumin seed change its color. Add in the grated ginger. And to this, lots of chopped garlic. Now you might be thinking it is a lot of ghee, but my friend, ghee is very good for your health. You should have at least a teaspoon of ghee every day. It is good for your joint, good for your health overall. So now after this, here I have some onion, which is finely chopped. So this goes in. Usually in dal makhani, they add lots of butter and fresh cream. Here I'm not using butter and instead I'll be using ghee. So this automatically comes to a healthier dal. And you need to keep a check on this too. You need to be multitasking. And to this, goes some freshly chopped tomatoes. You can even add tomato puree if you have it. Just lightly mash this with the back of your spoon. This dal tastes good when it is served hot, but if you ask me, this will taste even better the next day. And now this tadka is done. What I'll do is switch off the flame and just add on the tadka into the dal, give this a mix and now into this goes some red chilli powder, some garam masala powder and again give this a mix and now you need to stir this constantly otherwise it will stick to the base and now to this, to this much dal, I'll add just a spoon of fresh cream, that's it. Your dal makhani is ready. Let's serve this. And to finish, a little bit of cream and some ginger julienne's. So here it is. Robust, earthy, delicious, yet healthy dal makhani for you. And yes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. For more such delicious recipes, stay tuned to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.